Let's look at Affinity Publisher and mastering EPUB requirements. Shall we say, mastering the mysteries of EPUB and Affinity Publisher. There's lots of discussion about EPUBs. Everybody wants to convert their books to EPUB format so that they become true ebooks. But it's full of mysteries, traps and pitfalls. If you've got a photo book, a book of photos, it's really not suitable for EPUB. Why? Because EPUB prefers reflowable text. Let's look into it. Setting up for EPUB is the end result. Or is it? You may change your mind. Now some notes on file types. For Amazon KDP, everybody in the world's preferred platform it seems, your submitted ebook should be in the following formats. Now this is from KDP themselves. The only ones you're likely to have access to immediately could be HTML or DOC or DOCX. That's old words. That's old version of Word. That's the new version of Word. Support for DOC and DOCX is currently limited to English language content. Hmm, big problem. Now, current publisher export format. PDF. You've got lots of other things there that you can use because Publisher does lots of other things. But we're talking about ebooks. Now, what you'll need here, as I've said in a previous video I've done on mastering um, exporting books to PDF format, there's a previous video on this not too far back. PDF digital format, high quality. That's so your chapter links work. And I've got preview export when complete. So when it exports it to a PDF, it pops it up on screen so you can see. Now let's begin by looking at some of these formats. What goes with what? EPUB, Mobi and Adobe go with the iPad or the desktop. A Kindle, HTML5, Kindle readers and iPhones. Find your device and recommend an ebook file format. So if you're going to PC or pub, you've got that one. iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch, EPUB or PDF. Now if you export EPUB to a Mac or an iPhone, its default program that will open it is Books, Apple's Books. And it gives, if, as long as you've done your groundwork right, it gives a pretty good format. PDF, of course, works on both of them. Kindle and Kindle Fire, only Mobi or PDF. You can load a PDF book into your Kindle. You may have not have thought you could, but you can. If you send it to KDP, hmm, maybe not. They've got their own rules. But if you have a Kindle, you can load it into Kindle. Android, EPUB only. Nooks, EPUB only. Sony Readers, EPUB only. Now I'm sure that narrows it all down a lot. So pick your market. You're going to try and cover all of them? Mm, you'll be there for a month. Convert for the market that you want. And design to be usable in all markets or one. Now iBooks is a specific case in point. It has its own editor and reader. It has brilliant options built in there. You can have movies, videos, images. You can set those pages out however you want. You can even link to off-site web pages in iBooks. But anything you produce in iBooks is not usable on any other platform. But however, you might want to venture down that road and have a look at it. It's very interesting. Where are you going to go? EPUB, Mobi and PDF, I would say. Work on all of the others. But you have to be careful. PC or Mac, EPUB or PDF. And there's a breakdown of what's available on each one. The ebook format, PDF, Adobe Reader, Adobe Digital Edition, it's an exact reproduction of the original printed page. Widespread availability. P 
PDF can be read just about anywhere by just about anything that will read PDF files. EPUB is Adobe Digital Editions. Text automatically flows from page to page. It's easy to change font size and add bookmarks, compatible with most mobile devices. Now, be careful there. The key word is automatically flows from page to page. EPUB automatically flows. Moby Kindle automatically flows. So you'll see that a good example of that coming up. This is the key. That's why it's in blue. iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch, EPUB or PDF and it goes and I go into quite a bit of detail here and why you have different versions for different things. You can pause this here and read this. Kindle and Kindle Fire is Moby or PDF. I'd suggest pause the video and read that if you want to. PDF are faithful representations of the printed book. You can't adjust the size or make notes when reading PDFs on Kindle. Something to be aware of. I mean, how often do people make notes from books on Kindle anyway? Android does EPUB only. And there's a few problems with that. Um, different this different software you can use but there's one main one this may have changed by now and it may change in the future nook nook color and nook tablet mm, very useful but um, it only does epub and again if you've got reflowable text there's a market for you sony reader and other readers epub again reflowable text there's another market for you. You can pause these, of course, and read through them. I don't want to spend all day just reading the text to you. That will bore you witless. So which format do you export to and why? You're pretty limited to PDF at the moment with Affinity Publisher. Now, there's a new version of Affinity Publisher coming out much later this year, perhaps early next year, maybe fall next year. It's a big job programming these things, so don't expect anything to happen tomorrow. But be prepared. If you're already working on ebooks, have them as PDFs or have them as AF, um, AF publisher files, and you'll be ready to go when the new thing comes out. There are rules to follow if you want your readers to have the best examples. Reflowable format. Now here's some examples I can show you. There's a book firelight example that I've used. As a PDF, it's fine. As a Moby, it's fine. As an EPUB, it's fine. You can see the text here. PDF is self-explanatory. I don't put an example there. But the Moby on the Kindle on the Mac, quite readable, easily readable. Same with the EPUB, which comes up in books, the program books on the Mac. This example, Firelight, focuses on reflowable text, not fixed format. There is one image, the cover page, and, and there is actually a, a, another image right at the back of the book, an image of the author. There is no special text format, and again, I go into all of this in a previous video, mastering um, publication and exporting to PDF. Now the conversion works flawlessly on these to a Mobi and an EPUB and I used this company here, Convertio, C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-O dot co. No idea who they are, just picked them at random off the internet. There are thousands out there who will convert your book for you. This happened to be, I think, the first one I came across. Um, it seems like a fairly straightforward process. It's obviously not, but there's plenty of them out there doing it. Now, this is fixed format text. This is the book, The Wellness Example, exported as a PDF. PDF works fine. That's what it should look like up there. Front cover. Nice. 
text up there, text there, and it's lorem ipsum text, by the way. It's not anything that'll make any sense. Convert it as a Moby. It's reading Kindle on a Mac, and you can see there's page one and page two, but it's quite different. What happened to that emphasized text there? It's just trashed it over there. Reading as an EPUB, it's in books on the Mac. Well, it's given me that as a front cover and it's put that there second. Ah, it's fixed format text and you'll see more of that coming up in a short video of attached to this. The example and video explanation starts automatically. I want to start by showing you two examples. The one that you're looking at at the moment, Firelight, Trinity of Mind Book 1 by J. Abram Barnack. Now this has been made available to the internet so um, I'm not using it or breaching copyright. I'm using it as an example. Now this has been designed specifically as a reflowable text ebook. There's your front page. There's page one, or page two actually, because that's page one, page two, page three. Now there's no fancy footwork going on here, no fancy fonts, no drop caps, uh, nothing like that. A dedication on that page and a table of contents that stretches over two pages. Now because of the option that you can you can export this so that these table of contents um, chapter links actually work you will see in a moment that you can click on these and they will take you to the part of the book that you want and so on a few months ago we uh, we're beginning the text and into the body of the book chapter one and of course that goes into the table of contents We'll go back to that one. Now I'll show you one that's been set up in fixed format. Now this here has all sorts of formatting in it. It's got the, as you can see over here in the um, frames, there's lots of formatting. The text has cover on it. The, the cover, sorry, back to front completely there. The cover has text on it, embedded in it, over the image. It's not in line with the image. There's a plain page, plain text. There's another page with text and image. And another page with a one on it. You can see that this is highly formatted. This is not suitable as an EPUB. And I'll show you why in a moment. It may say ebook, but only as far as PDF are concerned. Now, let me just hide that for a moment. I've explained how you construct this and export this in a previous video I did. Um, and this is a really good example of it because what we're looking at here is exporting this or this into a format that can be read on the common ebook readers. So that's your front page, page one. That's your front page, page one. Now let me just hide that down there for a moment because what I've got here is the finished books. They were both exported by the same method to PDF. Now this is the wellness book. You can recognize the front cover. It's a PDF. Let's um, go to the next page. Plain text, that's fine the image and the text, that's fine. This is an exact representation of the ebook. So you can produce a fixed format PDF type ebook in Affinity Publisher and so on. You can see they're all working fine. Images behind the text, text below, text above and below. The four is slightly out of place there, but that's the same in the Affinity Publisher document. There's an image that's occupying the whole page and so on through the document, all 12 chapters or sections if you like. Now let's have a look at the Firelight example. There it is there. 
There's 35 pages in this. We go to Firelight, Copyright page, Dedication page, and of course this. Now that works fine. You see, if you put it on there, you click on that, goes to Chapter 1. Now that text is reflowable, meaning I can make that as big or as small as I want it to be. I can move on through the pages to Chapter 2 and so forth. That's PDF, okay? They both work fine in PDF. In fact, they're excellent little books in PDF. Now, what I did was take the PDF file and I sent it to a conversion service called Convertio, C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-O dot -E co. And it's one of thousands out there on the internet that will convert your documents for free or convert a couple of documents for you for free. If you do more than two or three or four, whatever it is, they, you have to then pay. But that's all right. It's good enough for an example. Now, this is the PDF, as you see it, converted to books, Apple Books, right, which is an EPUB file. Let me see if I can find... Let me drag that over there. There's Firelight Moby, which is that one, and Firelight EPUB, which is that one. That an EPUB by on the Mac defaults to open with books. But you can see the detail that I already showed you now. Let's have a look. There's the wellness one. We'll open it. Completely different. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. But there's text all over the place. There's images all over the place. The, the text has been spread out. In fact, if I pick this book up, apart from the fact that's lorem ipsum text, the text, if it belongs to that image, well, you'd have a hard time finding it out, wouldn't you? Now, there's little bits of text scattered all through the place. There's that image there, a whole bunch of text beside it and it should be actually pasted over it and that's where are we page 28 doesn't matter really because what we've got there we don't want that let's have a look at that no it doesn't it doesn't seem to want to do it does it let's get that out of the way let's have a look at the firelight one now this has also been exported. This is in the books format, in EPUB format, so it opens in books. You'll note there's no cover with it because in all of these types of things you have to send the cover as a separate file. But it is readable and those pages still work. Chapter 1 and there you go, Chapter 1. Of course, New pages and things like that don't work in an EPUB, but this is still a readable EPUB. This is done with that conversion I showed you, the, the, um, the online book conversion, PDF conversion to EPUB format. And so it goes on. Now that's eminently readable. If you've picked up any books on the internet, You've probably seen one in that type of format. Easily readable. And there's all the title pages. Title pages there. No, it doesn't see because it hasn't got a cover. That's all right. Copyright dedication. Chapter 8 and Friends. And there it goes. There's Chapter 8 and Friends. So it still finds its way through the book. Quite, It's quite usable. Now that's a free service, converting your PDF to, let me get right back to the start. It doesn't convert that because it needs a separate cover, but that's all right. You can, you can manage that, I'm sure. Now, let's have a look at it. And there it is there, Firelight and Wellness. These are other books I've got in there that um, I've done myself professionally. We don't need to worry about those. Now, let me hide that. Let's have a look at the Kindle versions. 
Here's your wellness book done as a Kindle. And that's Mobi, the Mobi format. PDF converted to Mobi format. You can see what's happening there as I make that big enough to read. That's what it should look like. And that's what it does look like. Hmm. No, it doesn't look anything like it, does it? We've got all of this here, all of this here. It's just strewn all over the place. It's un it's unreadable. It's fixed format, that's why. Let's have a look at Firelight. This is the Kindle format. Go back to my library. There's Firelight. Now this is reflowable text. And there it is. Again, of course, no cover page, but that's all right. If you're clever, you can do that first page, page one, you can do that in text. As you see, title page, firelight, and there we go. But it doesn't show you a cover page, which is a bit of a nuisance, but it's just the way the thing's made. Dedication, again, the tags work, title page, back to there. chapter 2 and so it goes let's hide that and there's your full chapter and so you can go on through the book you can that's in double page you can read it as one page and so forth that's the that's on the Kindle for Mac. It's very readable. Whoops. So there he is. So you can put images in there. Library, table of contents, title page, title page. It will not go back to the cover page, to that thing there. However, there's no reason you can't put that on a page of its own at the beginning. That's simply formatting. Because what you have about the author, you have an image in there, and it's right at the end, about the author. And that's sitting in the page. Let's have a look at Publisher. And we'll go right down to where the author is. And there's the author page. You can see that. The text is beside the author, and there the text is beneath, underneath the author. Now that's not a major issue. And there's the title page right at the end, just as you can see it here. If I bring that back up. There's the last page, which is the cover page. There's the last page there, which is the cover as well. So it reformats, it, it puts images where you least expect them. Although that one's there, and that's fine. That's, at the, that's on the last page of the document. Down there. It's not on that page, it's on a page of its own. Why it's not reproducing the first one, I don't know. This could be a problem of the conversion software, you see. Because that's scrolling right over to the top and at the end. Because with Kindle, you'll end up with a document outline at the end. Table of contents. Document outline. <laughs> Isn't that strange? So they all have their own little oddities, but that's all right at the end or at the front. With Kindle, I believe you don't have to put in your own table of contents. It will build one for you, document outline, and it will put that 
image, which is the cover page image, right there. Now that's a good example of the different formats. Let me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the like button. It'll be very much appreciated.